Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to control who all are going to have access to the site and how we are going to give them that access because now you know anybody who is going to log into the site will need a username and password. So first thing is we are going back to our administration here and uh, through this administration you can do a lot of things. Okay, so the first thing is we are going to choose who all will be the members of our site. So internal members is system admin or you can choose any other uh, profiles like a customer support or any of those people as your member for the site. For the external user, for the customer, I'm going to say any user which has a profile of customer community user, they are going to be the members of the site. Okay, so I have chosen profile of customer community user. You can choose any of these profile from external, which is either a customer community login user, login plus user. So the only difference between customer community plus login user and this login user is they're going to have some additional access, additional privileges, additional features. Okay, so any user which has a profile of these will be the member of the site. Now, the next thing here is login and registration. When you try to log into the site, this is the page you get in the incognito mode. Now, if you want to customize this page, you can do it through here. So you can change the logo, but you have to be careful because the maximum size is only 100 KB. So you have to choose a logo which is in this size and also the maximum width is 125 pixels and the sorry, the height is 125 and the width is 250. Background type, if you want to customize any of this, you can do it, you can choose a different color. You click on it, let's say you wanna make it purple. Similarly, you wanna do this orange, you can do that. Now footer text, if you wanna change this footer text and you wanna make add some additional information, you can do that. Similarly, once you have decided all those, now we are going to go to the save here. One important point is, if you scroll down, there is this registration page. Through this checkbox, you can allow the customers and partners to self-register. So when you check this checkbox, a sign-up option will be available where people can sign up onto that site, okay? If you want to enable this feature for them, then you go ahead and check this checkbox. For the timing, we are not going to check it. We will provide the username and password to the customers ourselves. So through this login and registration, you can configure the login page. Now the next thing is the emails. Whenever a customer gets an access, we want to send some welcome emails to that. Or if customer has forgotten their password, we want to configure some email for forgot password, right? So here are some of the email templates. Now through this email, you can create your own email templates and you can configure them over here. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you can also um, use the inbuilt one that comes with this template. So welcome new member. So whenever you activate the site, it is going to start sending the emails to the people or to the members who got access, right? So this is a send welcome email. If you don't want to send that welcome email, you can uncheck this checkbox and this is how the email will look like. This is the template. Now, if you want to choose a different template, you can create your own template or you can even customize this template, add your more personalized text or things like that. Similarly, this is the email template that if you if a customer forgets the password and he clicks on forgot password, then this is the email he's going to get. And when he wants to change the password, this is the email template that he's going to receive. Similarly, if they create, if somebody posts a case comment, you can select an email template for that. Also, user lockout template you can choose. So there are different templates that you can configure. Let's go ahead and go back here to the settings and let's activate our site. When you activate the site, what happens? When you click on this activate button, this is what you are going to enable the site for the people. Okay, so this is what we have now. Whoever are the pe members of the site are going to get an email saying this is the username and you can use the site. Okay, the site is active for the use. Even after all this, the customer is still hasn't received their username password. Now the next step begins is how do we enable our customer access to that site? And how do we do that? 
we are going to take a look in the next tutorial. We are just close to publishing and making our site fully functional. Just give me a few more minutes. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.